I. I am Priye Wright, an ICT expert, but more importantly, a family man. <sighs> it's a beautiful Saturday morning, and I'm just lounging in bed, relaxing. <laughs> a man needs to rest after the stress of a working week, right? <laughs> Honey, did you remind my girl to buy those new tires for my car? Oh yes, dear. You should get them today. Okay, thank you, dear. That's my wife, Sophia. My beautiful Nubian queen and mother of my children. <laughs> we have been married now for 22 years. But she still looks like a sweet 16 just as attractive as the very first day I met her. She's a medical doctor, a pediatrician, and I absolutely adore her. Oh, <laughs> she's the love of my life. Honey, you should really be out of bed. Breakfast will soon be ready. And you need to get set for your gym. Oh, my dear, no gym for me today. It's for your own good, for your health. You should watch what you eat and work out. Hmm? Are you talking as my wife or my doctor? Both, darling. So please stand up and join us for breakfast. <laughs> wow, you see? She's the number one jewel of my life. <laughs> And as you can see, my in-house doctor. Oh, I wonder why a man cannot just lay around in bed if he wants to and eat what he likes. Oh, this woman. Oh. Well, turn your lights down low and you pull. The window curtains. Hey, say no, it's been a long, long time. Oh, yeah. yeah, I got this message for you, girl. On time, on time. Ba 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 ba. Oh, yeah. Good morning, Dad. I, di I, I didn't hear you coming. How could you? And how many times must I tell you that this house is not a disco hall? Look, if you must sing out so loud, then go to a rehearsal ground. Sorry, Dad. <sighs> That's my first son, Tonye. Feeling like he's a musician already. I wonder what these kids get from this noise they call music. He's an undergraduate of computer engineering in his third year. So I could say he's following in my footsteps. Someday he'll be running my business. How big he has grown. He's just 21, that one. Good morning, Daddy. Oh, good morning, my dear. How are you? I'm fine, Daddy. Mm. Breakfast is ready. All right. Okay. I'll join you now. Let me just pick my papers. Okay. <laughs> That's my first daughter and first child, Sylvia, a graduate of accounting. Now, she takes very good care of me, and in return, I make sure I protect her and give her all she needs. Oh, where are my papers? Karen! Karen! What? Oh, my papers. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning. Can I have my papers now? Sure, Dad. Mm -hmm. I was just checking the latest update on the K Moscow case. Oh, <laughs> that criminal. He should be locked up in jail and the keys thrown in the lagoon. Dad. He's not been found guilty yet. Every man is innocent until proven otherwise. 
I still say he's guilty. Dad, you know what? I'm not even going to start arguing with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every man deserves a fair hearing before judgment. The judgment is G U I L T Y. Guilty. <sighs> hey, breakfast. Great. I wonder what this house would look like without my sweet little angel, Tony Carey. <laughs> she reminds me of myself when I was her age. She's very studious and always comes out tops in her class. A lawyer in the making. And we won't hear the last of it. <laughs> but I am more than happy to have my own baby lawyer. <laughs> Timmy, have we seen each other this morning? Sorry. Good morning, Dad. Good morning. So, where are you coming from? From my room. Hmm. Isn't that my wristwatch? <laughs> yes, yes it is. Hmm. So, what are you doing with it? Well, mine stopped, so I thought I could borrow it. I'll return it. My friend, take that wristwatch back to my wardrobe now. So wrong, so right, so wrong, so right, so wrong, so right, so wrong, so right. Now, that's my last child. Timmy, the boy is fast growing to become a man and he can be a handful sometimes. That's why I keep a close eye on him so that he doesn't get into trouble, which he naturally seems inclined to get into. That's not mom. You know I'm keeping a close eye on my weight. Oh, come on, girl. You know you're in school and you need to eat well so you can replace what you lose in the rigors of study. You heard that, mom. We must replace what we lose in the rigors of study. You're not getting more than your fair share, Tony. <laughs> mom! Sorry. <laughs> By the way, how come both of you are at home the same time this weekend? Doesn't any of you have a test, a field trip or something? No, mom. No, mom. All right. Please share the grace and eat. Honey? Well, um, it's a full house. So, um, will you say the grace to me? No, I can't. It's an order. But Dad, does it really matter who says the grace? We're starving. Oh. Oh, God. I thank you for the provision of this food and for the grace to eat it well. And everybody says, Amen. Amen. The grace is said already, Dad. So wrong, so right, so wrong, so right, so wrong, so right. Hey, come on, Timmy. What's the matter with you? Huh? You've always been a good boy. What's happening? Sylvia, I am at the receiving end. I know he's picking on me. Why do you think so? You are his last child. I mean, last son. You're supposed to be his favorite. But I'm not. Why? Do you think you can tell me? Well, 
Maybe because I have not made my O levels at a sitting like you did. Oh, come on, that's far from the truth. But why? Why is he always speaking on me every time? For God's sake, why? Come on, Timmy. Stop, Timmy. Stop. Look, for the sake of the whole family, stop. I can't believe you guys. When last did I give you some money? Was it not just a couple of weeks ago? So, what do you do with money? Spending it, Dad. That's what. Spending it? Just like that? Of course, Dad. Money is meant to be spent. That's it. You are not getting one more dime from me. You are wasting my money. No, oh, Dad. She didn't, she didn't say we're wasting the money. She said we're spending the money, like, as in, on our education. Is that what you mean? <laughs> but of course, Dad, you didn't listen to me and you were tripping and freaking out. What? Haven't I told you not to use such language with me again? I'm sorry, Dad. <sighs> tripping and freaking out. Now I know why you've been wasting my money. You've been keeping bad company, that's why. And you're not getting a dime from me. People who use such foul language Tripping, freaking out. Ah. Hey, honey, don't tell me you're still with these kids. Why don't just give them what they want? But they... they, they sh just give them the money. So that tomorrow, if anything goes wrong, they will not say you cost it. Oh, nothing will go, go wrong. wrong. Nothing had better go wrong. Nothing. That's okay. So you guys get out of here. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You're the bomb! <laughs> what? No, I mean like you're cool. I mean, I mean you're you're awesome. I want I'm pizza. Don't need to explain. Who else is in? Mom, Dad, Tony and Kerry. Timmy, he's gone out as usual. Okay. okay, let me go and see them then. Okay, but don't. You know now. Emeka. Hi, lovely. How could you put such a stunt on me? Hey, come on. Surprises are the things that make love memorable. I don't like such surprises. You might as well as walked into our sitting room asking to see me. But isn't it time I did just that? What? Come on. Stop looking so alarmed. You're a big girl now. You're no longer daddy's pet. Meaning? It's about time we take it to the next level. Please, could you speak plain English? Look, Sylvia, isn't it time we let your parents know about our relationship? What? Are you out of your mind? No, no but I think you are. Oh, is this a surprise you called me out here for? To insult me? Well, I think I'm better off without it. Hey, Sylvia, please. Okay, please, I'm sorry. I take that back. Please. I'm sorry, okay? Sophia right. Hmm? <laughs> Good. Now I've got to go. Oh, come on. What's the rush? You have two clear hours before your shift begins. Today is the last Saturday of the month. Mm -hmm. And you know traffic could, be, could go anywhere. No, 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 no. I promise you it's not going to be like that today. 
<laughs> oh my dear. How you come enter this place? Eh? Uh, where were you? And why did you leave the gate open? Uh, I, I, I did my post. You, you just enter. What did concern you? Huh? Okay. What did concern me? Say, I want to see Mr. and Mrs. Wright. Oh, you think say, now here you and your wife go begin work, work, enter anyhow. Make you go out, knock the door, I go open for you. Uh, look here, she is not my wife, she is my daughter. So, because you have not succeeded in getting a beautiful daughter like this, does not mean you should come and insult me. Allow me to see Mr. Wright. Uh, look, you, this man. You, you, are, yeah, yeah, look, this man. Let me, me see Mr. Oh, come on, look. You, you can't just uh, keep a brother high and dry on a cold Saturday morning like this. A sister is not leaving a brother high and dry. Brother already have No, no, no. Let no. me What? Let me see. Who could have been making such a row? No, 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 guys, guys, guys. Let's get serious. What's really happening? Man, the gist on ground is that her father has taken her to your father's house. Yes. To meet your parents. Your father and mother, Angela and her father. Yes. City. On the chair, that soft chair in the parlor, sitting room. Yes, they are there yes, right no. now, man. <laughs> man. Man, congrats, congrats. You married, man. Married. <laughs> <laughs> My parents. No, no. no. his own. My own. His own. His own. His own.